and easy. Nice and easy. Holy smokes. So we got a call for, I think it's a Duramax that is kind of crashed and busted itself up out here on the Arizona Strip. We're heading out here to see if we can get it. We got the banana and the Morver on the trailer in the back. We're driving blue steel. Got Jamie with the weather. Oh, it's like 75 degrees. It's beautiful outside, sunny. It's not gonna be sunny for the rest of the day though. Some of that time's gonna be dark. We're in a little bit of trouble because we're missing ramps to get this on the trailer and we can't get the trailer to it. We don't know that. We're gonna find that out in just a minute and then we'll figure it out from there. So I have made a calculating error. There has been speculation that sometimes I try to add drama by not being fully prepared. I just need a witness here. Do I add drama on purpose? <laughs> because no. of, okay. That's so, just the way he lives his life. You've known me for a long time. Does this seem pretty This typical? is every day. I, I, I don't learn, but I'm really good at problem solving and we've got a problem. I was gonna bring the little car hauler, but then I'm like, well, why don't we take the gooseneck? Because then we can all ride together. It'll be more efficient. But then I neglected to remember that the gooseneck doesn't have ramps because the Morver and the banana will just drive up on it. We're gonna need to trailer this vehicle out. That's why we even needed a trailer in the first place. So not only do we have a trailer with no ramps, we have a trailer that the Morver cannot tow into where the damaged vehicle is. So Blue Steel's gonna have to make it. And if it does make it, we don't have ramps. And look how surprised Tom is. <laughs> look how surprised Jamie is. Just laughing. Here's my prediction. We're gonna get them out. One way or another, we'll figure it out. All right, we just made contact with the customer. They're in a tan Can-Am. We're gonna come up here probably gonna unload and scout the road out before we try to take a gooseneck and blue steel in. If we can take it in, that solves one of our problems, but not the other. All right, the next step in this ill-fated plan was to unload the Morver and the banana here before we get in trouble with the truck and the gooseneck. I'm gonna be scouting this road to see what it's gonna to take to get blue steel and the gooseneck down. Jamie is piloting the Morver right now and Tom is behind us in the banana. Was it rolled or on its side? So there's right up here is there's a, uh, platform, so a platform to shoot off of. I'm sitting there looking out this way and so I hear something. Find anybody. I'm like, what the? And it was already. And it's so gone. I just literally watch it mob down this freaking hill and then into that, into that, and then it just kind of pull around to the side. That's a crazy <laughs> story. So yeah. Yeah, that is. I bet that was sad watching your truck roll down the hill into this. I'll hold in there. That looks good. Okay, I think everywhere. this one on this far side is done. No oil, so probably shouldn't. Do you have the keys? Are they not in them? Oh, I should be in it. Oh, okay. That was even on. Okay. Okay, it's got all pressure. Can you turn the wheel? Oh, this one's turning. This okay. Close up. No. It's spinning on the uh, back. Is it spinning one of the front tires? Yeah, this one's not doing anything. I don't think you're spinning either. Is that tire spinning? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> you said things were bad. They uh, bad. They were. I guess bad is a relative term. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, the fact that it runs and drives good and steers, you got 50% of your steering still. Yeah. That's all good. We're gonna have to pull it off yeah. of this to shut it. Yeah. Okay. Let's make a plan here. Tom, does yeah. it just need to be said? What? If only we had a wrecker. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. All the all the jobs today could have used a wrecker. Yep, every single one of them. Right. Oh, there's a little frog right here. How cute. Look at that. That is a frog. Oh, oh he went. Holy crap. That surprised me too, yeah. Ah, 
I'm trying to hold him so I can get him on here, but he just he, doesn't want to be held. I think he peed on me. He's a cute him. little frog. Tom. Hang on, I'm saving a frog. <laughs> I watered him. Alright. Tom, I'm going to need you to drive up in here. I, I want you pointed basically the same way as that truck with your back wheels somewhere where your feet are. But down in here. Yeah. Gotcha. And you're going to have to pull me up there. Do you want to go to our shorter? No. This is going to be so There's graceful. A right, right over there. No! Okay, you got to jump. I'm trying to. Oh, nice. Oh. She did it. Oh. So I'm going to put the winch on it. You're going to put the kinetic rope on it. And you're just going to slowly crawl. We're going to stay on the radios together. We may end up spinning it around. And pulling it out backwards? Yeah, because they steer backwards. Once we get it on the road, it may just track backwards. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run this one down. We've just got to get this pulled out of the rock. Out. I'm, yeah. Before you pull, I'm going to put this in reverse and try to pivot it a little bit. Okay. Your back was spinning pretty easy. I I'm don't diffed know out. You. I'm completely yeah, yeah. diffed out. Okay. Can we do anything about that? Is the diffed out coming forward? Well, we'll yeah, you might get off it backwards. Okay, you're gonna go to the same hook with that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be running the winch and guiding these two to do the right thing. Okay, Jamie, start that up. Turn this way. All right, Tom, that wheel is the wrong direction, which means if you get pulling too hard, everything's bad. So all I want is just tiny tension on that. I don't know if I was filming very good. That was intense. Okay, Tom, just keep it easy forward, real slow. Oh man, that wheel is giving us real minute. All right, we're gonna get this truck turned around backwards. I hope. We're gonna we're gonna have to. We got a lot of rigging up to do. We're gonna spin it around backwards this way. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna get this rigged up and spin it around backwards. We're gonna see how easy this truck spins. I'm gonna use the old Leapin' Jeep versus Trick. You ain't a kid. Yeesh. Oh, holy smoke. Hopefully. Okay, put it in drive, give it a little bit of gas. Oh. gone as far as we can doing this the incorrect way so now we're gonna do it the correct way okay Jamie put it in reverse okay stop okay let's just try pushing forward <laughs> Tom, give it a little bit of gas. 
Jamie, start turning your wheel. To the right. To the left, I mean. To the left. Stop. Tom, I need you to back up. This is kind of hard to film and run this job. I got it out. Okay. We're going to that tow plane. Okay, Tom, nice and slow. Jamie, um, keep it in drive for a second. Let's see if we can get this straightened out. So just kind of spin your wheels like that. Tom, just put nice steady pressure on it. I'm just trying to get this truck straightened out. Jamie, give it some gas. A little bit of gas, Jamie. Okay, put it in reverse, Jamie. Slowly back up. Don't overrun Tom. Tom is nice and slow. Man, I wish we had the record. Way better. That is so much nicer. So much nicer. Where's my app? I'll come help you find one. Just slow down a little bit. It's going good. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice and easy. Come right up here. Overshoot a little bit so Jamie can go up on that spot. Okay, Jamie, start turning to the right. Your left. Okay, Tom, back up. Okay, nice and easy. I want the gas pedal to go clear to the floor. Okay, stop. So Tom, I, it, it kind of sounds like it's not going clear to the floor, but maybe we see the start earlier. You tell me, you want to start earlier? No, I'm good. You want me to drop it to the floor right now and then back off after the hit? Correct, you need a full send. So back up another six or eight inches. Okay, that's good right there. Now put it in drive and mash it to the floor and then let off when it stops. Okay, that's working good, that did it. We can load right in here. Use neck will come in here. So what was that like? It hits pretty violent when it hits when you're going full throttle like that and that's a big truck hanging over the edge but it was doing it. I just have to get up the nerve to do what you're saying, which is just <laughs> hammer it and let it happen. Yeah. It's super gentle back there. Jamie's like, mm. Oh, in here it's like, wham. Yeah, that, that truck outweighs this more than double. Yeah. So now we've got to figure out where we're going to get the gooseneck trailer, how we're going to get that loaded on it, and what we're going to do next. Okay, Matt and Jamie are going back to get blue steel and the trailer. We still got to figure out how to load without ramps, and maybe we found a solution over here. There's a little high spot, a little hill that we can back into, kind of use that as our ramps. It blows my mind every time we do something like this because we leave and we're like, oh, we forgot that thing. I'm always like, well, let's go back and get that thing we need. And Matt has this positive attitude all the time, this, this Qui-Gon Jinn attitude like, oh no, a solution will present itself. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And I'm nervous and he just goes with it. He just goes and we figure it out. And every time it works out. So we'll get this thing loaded up and we'll be out of here in a few minutes, probably. Okay, here he is. We're gonna figure this out. I'm standing on the corner. It'll have to snake around and come in. Straighten out, keep coming. Keep coming. Stop. 
Tom did it perfectly. We're gonna be able to get right up that. Solution presented itself, we have ramps. Look at that, Matt. I know. He's not even surprised. All right, I think that I'm qualified to drive this on here. I don't think we're gonna need help with the Jeep. We might, but I don't think so. Give it an old try. Old we're gonna try. give it the old try. I totally would have drove it on there with no help from the banana if it had traction. It's gonna need a little help. It's kinda got a peg leg. Done more than that. Drive straight towards the trailer and you will know which side of the trailer by how this truck acts. This is Jedi stuff here. He doesn't even know that I just talked about that. <laughs> Were we on the same wave? I was calling you Qui-Gon Jinn a second ago. I don't know who that is. He's a Jedi. Are you gonna Yoda was a Jedi. If I have a choice, I'm going to the right. I don't know. You gotta just see how it acts, Jamie. I know. I don't know what that means. See how it acts. See how it acts. He might want you to go to the right, the way it's dragging. The correct answer is this side. You were right all along. <laughs> He is so hard to read sometimes. You're right on, Matt. What do you need? This is me beaming to Jamie to bounce me up there. No. <laughs> so what needed to happen there, and I didn't tell Jamie, is that we needed momentum to bounce the back wheels up over that because the front's dragging a lot and she's pulling at the side and the back of that, that back bar is really slick. So she should have got me up to about three miles an hour, but she didn't. So here we are. What's your idea? You trying to pull the rope across? Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to get that truck on the trailer. Ah. Probably right here. All right. That one's made for this. I don't know if it's gonna work. This is a very, we are, mis we are misusing this. I know what you're thinking, Nina. I know what you're thinking. This is super sketchy, so we don't need this to be frisky. We're not using momentum anymore. Awesome. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. I think I'm gonna pull from right here. It's getting dark on us. Forget about that. Let's just use this. Boy, that rim is. Was it starting to go? Yeah, yeah, you were just barely getting onto it. I can't believe how well good this is working. This sleeve is quite slippery. Okay, this is definitely the wrong way to do this, 100%. If you are not comfortable with the way that I am doing this, you should never do this. An amateur should never do this. A professional never would do this. So if you're a professional or an amateur, I completely agree with you, you should not be doing this. We did it! All we gotta do is tie it down and drive out of here, and that's the easy part. We did the hard part wrong, but we did it. Jamie, that was amazing throttle control. Thank you. Oh, that was amazing camera filming. Ah, oh, thanks. Matt, you were mind-numbingly unprepared for this job. Thank you. 
Jedi stuff right there. We both told you. Jedi stuff. Is it? Jedi stuff? I'm like, come on, hear me. All right, all we've got to do now is drive back to the yard and unload this. So we're going to do that. For what we had, this went amazingly good. Thanks to Bleep and Matt for giving me the opportunity to practice that not too long ago. What, the spin around? Is that The his? drive backwards. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I did it on Bleep and Versus. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was trying to figure out what you were talking about. Now we all now know. I'll, now we all understand. And you know too. Well, the customer was a little bummed and they jetted out of here before we got done. So we didn't get to give them a t-shirt. Oh, we'll give it to them when they come to the yard. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be storing this at the yard for the concerned parties to take care of. Yep. Something about totaling his truck ruined his day. Yeah. He was that in was, a pretty good mood, but I could tell yeah, he was digging yeah. deep. Yeah. That's rough. So once again, we did the right thing the wrong way. Thanks for watching. So it won't move. We gotta push it with something. That dead wheel is crunched up so bad it keeps it from driving. The back wheel just spin.